In this video, I want to highlight two options for dashboards in Drupal. These two solutions you can use with Drupal Core and also the recently launched Drupal CMS. So let's get started. First, I want to showcase what's possible with one of the solutions. And this is our solution we created at NetNote. It's fully open source and it's uh, the module Content Planner. The Content Planner modules um, gives you a dashboard, which I'm going to demo right now. So now I'm logged in to a Drupal system, NoteHive, our product, which includes the Content Planner module. And as you see here, I have a dashboard from my site, which is accessible through this sidebar. And I can, and you see there are several widgets here. For example, I have two websites I'm uh, providing from this backend. Then there is uh, some statistic information. I also have some web forms uh, information. Also, what were the latest submissions? Then I see the late, the recent edits, etc., etc. I can also add multiple dashboards. So, for example, I can add a personalized my content view, which is filtering through my recent edits. For example, it's also possible to show additional analytics data, uh, so current month and even the yearly traffic with this GitHub style graph, and also. Um, this solution offers different widgets for maintenance things. So for example, you can see how many watchdog entries are now in the database, how big is the cache tables and some system um, information in general. So how does it work? So first of all, I can go to configure dashboards. I create a new one. So let's add a test one, test, test dashboard. Then I'm able to configure what role have access to that dashboard. Let's allow all of them. I create the dashboard. And then here I'm able to configure the dashboard. So it's already there. I can then start configuring it. Now I'm on the config screen. Again, I can rename it um, and I can also enable roles, etc., etc., some settings. But now, for example, I want to build up a new dashboard. So here are all the widgets that my Drupal solution or NodeHive is offering here. And yeah, let's let's just add a couple of them. My recent edits, content status, uh, create content. Then I can also, you know, define the size of it. Let's add, um, let's say also the Drupal view widget and maybe also an two times the RSS feed widget. So I hit save. So without further configuration, I already have a very, very powerful dashboard. So I see content statistics. So it's an out of the box widget, which already shows me how many nodes I have. Um, yeah, some content statistics, recent edits. Then create content. Um, Drupal view widget. So here I'm able to configure what view I actually want to show. So let's say I want to take the regular admin slash content view, simply hit save and voila, this is now the view. I also have the RSS feed widget twice and I could add a different feed here and also yeah, change the number of items here. There is a small uh, error here because this widget, no workflow selected. So I have to select the workflow here, which is editorial. Then I hit save. And then I also have a visual representation in what status um, the content on that side is actually. Yeah, so very powerful uh, dashboarding solution. Uh, by the way, it's very easy to build additional widgets. It's basically a Drupal plugin. Simply copy paste one of the uh, existing um, widgets and then you can build your own. Just as a side note, uh, this is Content Planner module, fully, uh, fully open source. Uh, it, only, it also includes a calendar solution and also some Kanban stuff, just to quickly show that. So here is the dashboard. Then there is also a calendar view. So basically you can yeah, create content, 
uh, with a calendar. I won't do that now, it takes too much time. And there is also a Kanban board, so I'm able to drag and drop stuff. I can, yeah, uh, do the state change, the workflow state change through a Kanban-inspired um, um, yeah, overview. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about dashboards. This is one solution, super powerful, try it out, it's free, and I highly recommend you go with the version 2.0. This one we haven't um, further developed since yeah many months, and we are soon uh, launching actually a stable release of the 2.0 branch. As of us, we are already using the two version 2 uh, um, branch, for our product NoteHive. So what you just saw um, here is a demo application for NoteHive. Just as a side note, NoteHive is a product of us. It's a headless content management solution built on top of Drupal. So if you know Drupal and if you want to use um, a powerful headless CMS, NoteHive is potentially a solution. By the way, also NoteHive is fully open source, but we are also offering a SaaS solution, so if you don't want to yeah, spend time um, maintaining your backend, if you just want to get started, if you're a front-end developer, um, you can use it. We offer uh, Next.js starters, uh, also Astro starters, and lots of documentation how you can actually build up your um, front-ends, decoupled front-ends. So that was dashboard number one. Then dashboard number two. Um, so basically, there is a initiative as part of the recently launched Drupal CMS. It's actually very cool. Uh, so um, all of these uh, people here, including yeah, Christina, which is kind of famous in the Drupal community uh, because she leads a lot of the UI and admin UI stuff. So the dashboard module uh, provides uh, users with the central synthesis to access key information and essential tools for logging into the system. So there was a long uh, debate in, in the in the not a debate actually a, a long term need that we need some kind of dashboard solution in Drupal, and now um, there were other solutions as ours for many years actually, um, but now there is a new. Um, way to um, use dashboards as part of the Drupal CMS. You can also install that module. It supports the latest Drupal version and I want to quickly demo what is the capability of the dashboard solution. Here I have a complete fresh installation of the Drupal CMS and when I log in I immediately arrive at the dashboard. So it comes with three predefined blocks, the recent content, top tasks, and announcements. And this dashboarding solution is using Layout Builder, the yeah, basically Layout Builder from Drupal Core. And now I'm also able to edit the layout. So let's say I want to add a new section. I can add two columns, and then I can add additional blocks. And then, for example, I can create, I can add my drafts, uh, and then I should see my drafts. And then, for example, I could add some dashboard text. I think this is just generic text. So if you want to add whatever I, <laughs> I want to say there, I'm able to do that. So I can then hit save, and then I'm able to, yeah, use that. Um, I mean, you saw it's super simple, um, very easy to use. And it's reusing a lot of the Drupal common, um, uh, um, common uh, how can I say, um, building blocks. Uh, so, for example, it's built on top of Layout Builder. It uses blocks as a rendering mechanism. And you can also build your own views and render them inside here. So that's basically the concept of it. Um, What's also possible, and I want to demo that rather quickly, dashboard. So you could also add multiple dashboards. Another dashboard. Save. And now if I go back to the page, um, I have here another dashboard. And then I can edit the layout and yeah, just build up my dashboarding solution. So that's pretty slick and cool. So let's uh, use... Again, 
recent contents and voila I have that now available yeah so um, that's another easy to use dashboarding solutions um, super cool that we have that now as a base to start with if you want to use the content planner module within Drupal CMS that's possible to use and I quickly demo that how you can do that so I already installed the module with this uh, with the command Drupal composer uh, ddef composer require and then um, this branch so basically here this is the command I already run that before so now I enable the content planner module Tuck. yeah it takes a second and now I have to configure a couple of things first I have to create a master dashboard so it's actually accessible um, so when you install the module there is no way um, you have to first to create a dashboard so for that there is a admin screen dashboard list no dashboard available so create a new dashboard so this is new content planner or let, let's call it just master um, I like that to do enable on content planner the content planner solution allows you to show dashboards on multiple entities including custom entities so that's extendable so just create dashboard now and now I'm able to access the content planner when you have the content planner module installed you also get that from here dashboard there's also content planner I have to further configure the content planner um, because it's now a new site and also the Kanban board is um, basically available but here is the dashboard now and then I can configure start configuring it and I just add a couple of widgets hit save and then voila you see there are some widgets available let's add some more uh, let's say uh, let's add this one user widget etc obviously I need to configure them uh, in a way that makes sense for the given use case just hit save and yes now you see content statistics watchdog etc etc um, let's maybe make that a little bit more real so what I typically do is I add a welcome and then I add the create content at the top so we have a nice welcome and then below I load a Drupal view I make it full size and then I just add it here so I hit save and then I select the default content admin slash content page and voila I already have a nice looking yeah dashboard and I'm also able to add additional dashboards so just as a demo maintenance um, so I can now add here is the maintenance and now I configure this one so I could add all the system stuff here system information watchdog house uh, cron hit save yeah now I have this information here available that's nice if I want to change the ordering that's also possible hit save and voila so yeah the content planner dashboard is easy to install on any Drupal site that is Drupal 10 or Drupal 11 and highly recommend to check it out also highly recommend to check out the, the dashboard solution that comes with Drupal CMS yeah if you like these kinds of videos consider subscribing this channel I will yeah publish much more videos about Drupal stuff specifically also about front-end technologies about AI technologies so if you are a web professional a web developer or a digital strategist this is the channel for you so see you soon and until the next one